Hello, this is Jeff McCutcheon, OSU Extension Educator in Morrow County. This spring, with farmers getting out in their hay fields about two weeks earlier than normal because our grasses are maturing at a faster rate due to the weather, several of them are noticing this bright, pretty yellow flowered weed and are asking questions about it. Now, a lot of times, weeds aren't a huge issue in hay production. Uh, they can increase drying time, maybe decrease forage quality, but if you grow good forages, they'll outcompete most weeds, so the percentage is not great enough to really warrant too much in the terms of control. The weed they're bringing in, and the weeds that are out there in the fields now, that are flowering in bright yellow, is a major issue. It is crest leaf groundsel. Uh, this weed is a noxious weed in the state of Ohio, but it is also poisonous. Now, crest leaf groundsel goes by many different names. Uh, some may call it butterweed, yellow top, golden ragwort, or yellow ragwort. This is a winter annual, which means it is seeded in the fall or germinates in the fall, grows as a rosette over winters, and then in the spring it uh, matures and goes reproductive, shoots up a stalk and uh, flowers, and then produces seed. Now typically the seed and the flowering happen about May 10th, so we're after that date, and a lot of people are noticing them out in their fields. The plant is quite easy to identify. There are fact sheets for these pictures. One key characteristic is it will have a hollow, smooth stem. If you cut it open and look at it, the yellow flowers are quite small, around a half an inch in width, and they're in a, a tight cluster. Now the toxicity is from an alkaloid, pyrolyzidine alkaloids to be exact. Now these alkaloids are metabolized in the liver into other compounds that are actually toxic. Primarily they're toxic to the liver cells. Now this species is considered toxic in all portions of the plant, but the flowering parts and youngest tissue generally contain the highest concentration of these alkaloids. The one bad part is that the alkaloids are not destroyed by the haymaking or curing process. Insiling the forages may reduce the concentration, but will not eliminate them. Sheep are considered more resistant to the effects of these alkaloids than cattle or horses. Under grazing conditions, most animals will avoid the plant. It, it mainly becomes a big issue when it's made into hay. For control, understand that this is a winter annual, so after the first cutting we generally will not see it again this growing season, but for control in fields where it's been identified, it probably will be seeding again or germinating again next fall. For a winter annual, fall is an excellent time to control the weeds. One easy option is uh, using 2,4-D. Uh, there are many versions of it available out there on the market. Now understand that 2,4-D will wipe out clover and alfalfa. There are fewer options if you have clover and alfalfa and want to keep them in your hay field but uh, those options are listed in various weed control guides. For more information you can check out the article by Laux and Dr. Shulaw and Jeff Stackler uh, on the Beef Team webpage library or there's a Purdue Extension Weed Science uh, fact sheet also available.